I'm at the annual convention of the Western Massachusetts Sacred Harp Singers. I sat over on the side of the hallway where there's some light coming in from the window. I'm using a dampened paper towel across the top of the pallet. The mixing pallet surface is the lid of a metal pencil box which holds on to the magnets of my easel. And uh, I don't need very many colors to get started. Now the main model I'll focus on is Kelsey Ivy of Nashville. She noticed me sketching her and came over during the break and was delighted that I was drawing her, but I told her she didn't have to pose. Now with a singer or musician in the wild, it's a pretty good scenario for portraits because after a little while they settle into their, their basic pose. And once they do, you can pick an angle of the head and then kind of commit to that and then even if they move up or down, they'll eventually find their way back to that home position. The light is coming from behind me, so the forms get darker as they turn away. Well, now I want to zero in on some of the features of her face, but I've got a problem because a guy sits almost in front of her, and so I don't have a very good view. But at least I can see her eyes and her nose and the top of her head. So maybe I can just work on that part. I'm going to have to move my chair again because I could barely see her past that guy who sat down in front of me. At the distance I'm sitting, I can't really see the details of that paisley pattern, so I'm kind of just suggesting it with a dry brush texture. Well, unfortunately, Kelsey gets up and leaves her seat, so I have no choice but to work on another face. I'm going to work on a face behind her, cropped behind her, and for a model I'll use Mary Andrews. Now re-wetting and restating is a somewhat risky maneuver uh, in paint, but casein is a pretty forgiving paint because you can keep restating it over and over again. The shoulder is covered with a kind of a light sweatery wrap so I mixed some blue with some red and made kind of a dull violet and then dropped in some cerulean into that wet paint. Leaving these ingredient colors partially mixed is a nice thing to do. What edge lighting there is from the windows is relatively cool, or at least I'm painting it that way. I like an if painting like this to get the center of interest worked out first. It helps me to organize the story and the logic of everything else in the picture. Well, the full day sing is rapidly coming to an end, so I've got to pull this thing together. And I bring in a little chalk to create the effect of the light spilling in from the windows. Painting people in the wild is always an adventure and always an improvisation. Hi, I hope you enjoyed. There's lots more videos of any of these buttons. And this is just a sample of a longer form DVD or download that you can get at those buttons that say Kunaki or Gumroad in the About section. Thanks for coming by. Everything would have been, you know, coming out of your roots, so this is before canning jars, so everything would have been dehydrated, uh, firm.